नमस्कार दोस्तों हम लोग यूपीएससी ईएसआईसी डिप्टी डायरेक्टर एग्जाम के लिए वी आर एनालाइजिंग द कंप्लीट सिलेबस कीवर्ड बाय कीवर्ड सो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर लुकिंग एट एवरी कीवर्ड इन द सिलेबस एंड देन वी आर ट्राइंग टू ड्रॉ अ बाउंड्री अराउंड दैट कीवर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट शुड बी पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस एंड व्हाट शुड बी एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम दिस सिलेबस सो टुडे आवर कीवर्ड इज कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशंस सो वी लुक एट this keyword which is part of esic director uh, syllabus uh, similarly we'll keep adding new videos till entire syllabus is covered and finally we'll do one video on the overall strategy uh, so in that we will not go into topic by topic we'll do the overall uh, picture on what what you should be doing for esic deputy director exam and uh, uh, if you have any uh, uh, if you uh, if you have any suggestions if you disagree with us agree with us whatever you feel feel free to feel free to let us know we also have given a link in the description which will connect you to our team directly on the whatsapp you can connect with our team immediately and will support you in whatever best way uh, we can you can also of course uh, write your comments uh, in uh, this youtube uh, youtube video okay so let uh, let us get started today's topic is uh computer applications uh, before that a word on who we are so at human pythons we are uh, we are uniquely positioned to assist you for upsc esic exam as hum kyon bol rahe hain because of two things on the one hand on the one hand we have specialization in upsc recruitment exams like upsc alc epfo apfc upsc administrative officer for gsi drdo and so on we have experience of these exams on the other hand we are known as market leader for management and commerce subjects for many exams like hr officer marketing officer ugc net labor laws and and so on so guys uh, incidentally this has happened that we are uniquely positioned to uh, to assist you uh, for journey of this exam and we will try to do our best so uh, this so this is uh, uh, who we are and uh, about esic exam um, the exam will have 120 questions uh, number of marks will be i think uh, around 300 or maybe 100 it doesn't matter by the way uh, what we know is that each each question has equal marks and there is a negative marking of 1/3 part a part b part a will have 20 questions and part b we will have remaining 100 questions uh, about exam date so our best guess is this exam will be somewhere in uh, rather let me put it this way our best guess is this exam will not happen before feb or march of uh, next year although to be re realistic it should happen sometimes in summers of 2022 why we are saying so uh, go to our website go to faqs on the esic page and there uh, we have written why we are making this claim uh, then uh, about any doubts on seats eligibility salary and all those things i'm sure you can figure them out from uh, upsc notification still if you need any assistance do let us know the link is given in the description below so there is a link to uh whatsapp chat you can immediately connect with us uh, to uh, through that chat so for you for the it's a four step plan in the step 1 we'll teach you in live classes for four months in the step 2 you'll go through printed booklets uh which have been created by our team uh, to cover the entire syllabus which are sent to you through courier in step 3 will make you go through a online question bank finally will make you go through full length mock test papers and if you go through these steps uh, you are ready for upsc esic uh, exam and uh, and this and this four step plan has worked fairly well for us in earlier exams also for example upsc alc 2017 and consistently we have seen that more than 80 to 90% paper has been ha, has come from 
what we are advising you or what uh, we are covering in our course so this four step plan has worked very well with us and we believe that it will it will equally work for upsc esic exam as well you want to understand how we plan to prepare you for esic so go to our website go to esic page read it there and you will understand very well in detail still any doubts feel free to connect with us through email phone or again uh, the link is also given in the description below which is a link to whatsapp chat connect on that and and of course only if you are using a mobile phone this link uh, will not work if you are watching this video from a desktop you have to open it from a mobile phone otherwise uh, on the desktop you can contact contact us through our website by clicking on blue colored contact us page okay great so let's come to the real thing now the real thing is what we should be studying for our syllabus of uh, computers and the keyword is fundamentals of computer application okay so to analyze what should be part of this syllabus what we did we analyzed a lot of previous year papers and in those papers we found out that out of 17 18 papers incidentally 10 papers had questions on computer applications okay so but but uh, the syllabus in these 10 papers was it exactly same as uh, uh, esic exam no there is a variation which i'll show you okay so so this uh, uh, paper of senior administrative officer drdo uh, it uh, happened in 2014 and 16 so here the syllabus is computer awareness and basic knowledge of office automation software such as word and word and excel okay it looks uh, easier uh, in level again same thing uh, when this exam happened two year two year later then upsc apfc the syllabus is basic knowledge of computer applications our uh, syllabus is fundamentals of computer application do not forget that okay then administrative officer bro which happened recently in 2019 the syllabus is computer awareness and basic knowledge of office of automation including word and excel then exactly same was administrative officer for gsi which was geological survey of india then upsc epfo which happened a few days back and also four years back in 2017 so there the keyword in the syllabus was knowledge of computer applications so right now what our syllabus is fundamentals of computer application and that time it was knowledge of computer application then there was another exam uh, statistical investigator for rgi again the syllabus was basic knowledge of computer applications okay then drug inspector gnctd so we analyzed a lot of papers so when we analyze we not only look, look at the syllabus we also looked at every question in these papers so basically the the keyword in the syllabus has been either basic knowledge of computer applications or knowledge of computer application or this one computer awareness and all that so this time our syllabus is this one fundamentals of computer application so guys first thing just because it's written basic knowledge or knowledge this is not any differentiator of difficulty level the we cannot make out from uh, although this labor has been written differently in uh, these three exams there is not even a single point of differentiation which can say that in this exam this is covered or the, in this exam this is not covered in fact where basic knowledge is given and similarly the third uh, keyword also computer awareness and basic knowledge of office automation from the keyword it looks that it should be pretty easy syllabus and it should have really simple question which was not the case which in fact there were tougher questions uh, uh, tougher question on uh, these keywords okay so let's come back let us look at some of the questions which i which you want to sh show you admin officer gsi 2018 it, ha it has a question on uh, base conversion then apfc 2016 had a question on cloud computing so guys uh, what do we mean from this question that we should also be aware of new trends and new technologies like cloud computing ai iot 
fuzzy logic, blockchain, we should be aware of all these things as well. Then a lot of abbreviations are also coming, UPS, APFC, uh, these are the two questions in the same exam. Then, uh, uh, as you can see this question, this uh, admin officer GSI, this was on RDB, RDBM, Relational Database Management. Then again, EPFO 2017 had a question on abbreviations. Okay, let's come to the conclusion now. So guys, what is our conclusion? Of course, any book on computer knowledge will have these topics. Architecture of computer, input output devices, programming, translator, file format, memory management, storage, what is operating system, browser, database, ex their example, software, application software, system software, how internet works, e-business, network, OSI, topology, protocol, TCP, IP, LAN, WAN, MAN, CAN, uh, malware, viruses, cyber attack, uh, uh, how to prevent them, features of Word, Excel, then different generation of programming languages and computers, first generation, second generation, I think now we are at fifth generation, programming errors. Of course, your book should have these topics. And if your book is not having all these topics, then uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you should reconsider what you are studying. But other than this, based on our analysis, we want you to suggest few more topics as well. And what is our, what is our uh, um, uh, basis of suggesting these new topics? That we have gone through all these previous year questions. You, of, of course, you are feel free to challenge any of our, our assumptions right in the chat box or WhatsApp, wherever you want. Uh, we'll definitely re, uh, reply to that. Okay, so let us look at what additional things uh, we are asking you to study. Guys, make sure to go through base conversion. So under base conversion, you should be knowing how to convert from binary to decimal and decimal to binary, then octal, then hexadecimal. So guys, you should also be knowing how to convert the fractional part of it. For example, of course, you should be knowing how to convert 25 into binary, but you should also be aware that how to convert 25 into 6 to 0.5 into binary. This is what I mean. Then, uh, uh, then guys, next thing, you can skip negative conversion of negative numbers. For example, how to convert minus 25 into binary, you can skip that. How to convert minus 25 into 625, you can convert that. But make sure to go through them and others which I have suggested you. So this is one topic, guys. Next one. Uh, go through, uh, again, it's the same thing is written. Go through entire software development process. SDLC, waterfall model, V, uh, V-shaped model, uh, prototyping, RAID, uh, agile programming. Go through them. Then different kind of testing. At least uh, these main types of alpha testing, beta testing, and so on. What is CMMI? Uh, cap software capability, maturity, models, okay. Then do look at database design, uh, DBMS, RDBB, RDBS, uh, relational database, and then earlier there were network and hierarchical databases. Uh, look at some examples, Oracle is what? Oracle is what? Or uh, uh, MySQL is what? Yeah. Then, uh, of course, we also have written viruses and attacks and all those things here. But also make sure to go through what country is doing in case of cyber security, what is being done by certain and so on, go through that. Then how encryption works, public key, private key, digital signature, how it works, uh, go through uh, these concepts. Then what is the data warehouse, data mining, data marts, e-governance, of course, you will also be studying it as part of your GS and whatever. But e-governance is always very hot. Go through uh, different type of governance. What is uh, G2C, C2G, G2B, C2C, and these different models. Shortcuts, guys. Shortcuts and keys. Uh, by the way, these shortcuts should have been in this list and not there. They should be part of every book. Okay. Then uh, newer technologies. Neural, cloud, IoT, AI, fuzzy logic, blockchain, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a part of blockchain only. Make sure that you are aware of these uh, different concepts. So this is all what we have to suggest to you for uh, UPSC, ESIC, GP reactor exam. This is our program. If you want to go through this program, link is also given in the description below. Go through that. 
uh, you can also connect with us anytime through whatsapp the link is also given in the description below thank you so much feel free to do let us know especially if you disagree with anything that's all thank you so much